Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I'll give you a little intro while we're waiting for maybe one more person to come in. Uh, today is a body weight only workout. We're going to be doing lots of intervals where we're moving a lot and getting that heart rate up. And then mixed in with those intervals, we are doing some more core based work as well. So we'll be doing a lot of stuff today, uh, a lot of intervals. It might feel a little ADD because we'll just be doing tons of different stuff. But uh, just join in, hang on the best you can. I'm going to be showing some modifications as we go, and hopefully, y'all have fun. We are going to start out with a um, five minute warm up and then we'll be getting into our intervals. So if I hop over here, it's just to let someone else in. So let's get started with our warm up. We're going to do uh, 10 things in quick succession here, starting out with a squat to butt kick. So just squatting down in comfortable range of motion for you and then trying to kick your own butt with your heel. <laughs> We're doing each one of these for 25 seconds just to give you a heads up. Just get warm, working through some movements. We're gonna go into knee hugs. Just pull the knee into your chest. Working hip mobility, also balance. Getting warm even though it is cold outside. Looks cold. A couple more seconds of this. All right, we're gonna go hands to head, going for good mornings or hinges. So you're gonna lead with the butt, pushing out behind you, standing up tall. Keep that going. Let me turn this up a little. Awesome, we're going for that neutral spine that we're aiming for. Cool, up next, lateral lunge with a reach. Just reach towards your foot or towards your calf. Whatever range of motion you can get to. Getting into the frontal plane, getting a nice inner thigh stretch. From here, hamstring sweeps. Just push your butt back, step one leg forward, swoop those arms. Awesome, keep this going. A few more seconds. Just getting a dynamic hamstring stretch. We're gonna go back to squats. This time, squat to a Frankenstein kick. Right out in front of you. Straight kick up. Going from side to side. Just trying to get a lot of movement patterns in to fully activate all the muscles we want turned on. Limber up. Awesome. Reverse lunge. Overhead reach. Lunge it back. Reach those arms overhead. Alternate those legs up. After this, we'll be going down to the floor for a couple. Try to raise those arms straight up towards the ceiling. Cool. Let's go down to a high plank. We're gonna go for ankle taps. So I'm gonna hike my hips up and reach across. Kind of like a downward dog. Reaching your hand towards your opposite shin or ankle. Ooh. 
We're going to stay here and go into some runner's lunges. So take a big step forward, get that hip stretch, and switch. If you have trouble with this, I would elevate my hands onto something, like a coffee table or something. Cool. A couple more. And rest one last interval in our five minute warm up. We're gonna go into some jumping jacks. So to modify without the hop, you're just gonna take a step to the side, should you wish to. Just getting that nervous system woken up here with these. A few more seconds. And there we are, five minute warm up. All right, so we're gonna get into our intervals now. Like I said, these are gonna be a mixture of cardio stuff and some core centric stuff. Each interval is gonna be 40 seconds and we're gonna have about 20 seconds in between intervals. I think that as long as I stay in focus, stay focused, I can talk you through these as we go. So we'll see how that goes. All right, first up, just give you a preview. We got a squat to a kickboxer kick. So that'll be our first interval for 40 seconds, all right? So we got a 10 second countdown, and then we're gonna get going into our first round. This is 10 minutes of work coming up. All right, here we go. Squat, kickboxer kick. Just go side to side. Take it at your own pace. You might be slower than I am. You might be faster than I am. And that is okay. I just want you to feel like you're getting some work done. Almost done, five seconds. Okay, great, up next, we're gonna count this as cardio because it's gonna go fast. We got two cross climbers plus a plank jack. Now if you don't wanna hop those feet, you can tap them out to the side. All right, that's our next one. Right here, two cross knees plus a jack. Now, if you start to fatigue, you could elevate your hands onto some blocks or a bench. That's going to take some load off. Good. About 10 more seconds here.
Bunch those together. You're doing great. That's halfway right there. Let me hear that noise. Really crunching together. Five seconds to go. And rest. All right. Last one in this cycle. Oh, we're going to do a walk back burpee. I should start at the top. Place those hands down. Walk back to a plank. Down, down, up, up. Walk in and stand up. Let's try it. Hands down, walk back. Down, down, up, up. Walk those feet in, stand up. Just go at your own tempo, whatever works for you. You can also do these from a box or chair as well. And rest, awesome, awesome. All right, we're gonna do those five exercises one more time through. So we started out with our Squat to front kickboxing kick. That's what we're gonna do right now. Squat and kick. You got it. About 10 more seconds worth. Hang on. And rest. All right, we're taking it down to the floor next. We have our two crossover climbers plus a plank jack. Or lateral tap if you don't want to jack those feet out to the side. All right, I'm gonna find my plank. Spreading my fingers. Here we go. Doing good. Hang on. Seconds, almost there. Whew, and rest. Good. All right. Next up, we're standing it up. We're reaching high and we're doing our knee crunch. 40 seconds all on one side. All right, let's do it. Find the range of motion. That's good for you. If you can, you're going to drop that back knee close to the ground. We don't want pain. Woo, hang on. We've got 10 more seconds on this side. Good out there. And we get a rest. Thank goodness for a little rest between sides. Shake it out. Ooh, coming up in five seconds, we're gonna hit that other side, same thing. All right, hit it. Let's make it count. I 
Imagine you're pulling some ropes down from the ceiling. Uh, each time. That way we can really activate those arms even without the weights. Five more seconds, so close. And rest. Awesome. Up next, last one, we'll do a little rest. Our walk back burpee to a plank up. So I'm gonna reach my hands for the ground, walk my feet back, plank up. Oh, hi Stevie. There you go. Back to a plank, down, down, up, up. Walk in. Good, good. She wonders what us silly humans are doing. Cause she never has to work out to stay slim. It's so unfair. And rest, awesome. Good news, the first big block is done. We have two to go. They're gonna be the same thing. Well, same format, not the same exercises. So just to give you a little preview, our first exercise in the next block is gonna be four scissors, one, two, three, four, plus a squat. So if you don't want to do a scissor jump, do some marching in place, and then reach down for the floor. The second one, I'm actually gonna use my bench. You can do this on the floor, but we're gonna do a push up to a side plank. And given the length of time, it might be helpful to have a coffee table, a chair, ottoman, sofa, something to do those on. But you can do them on the floor. All right, let's get started. Block number two, five exercises coming our way. We got four scissors plus a squat coming up first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, pop squat. One, two, three, four, pop squat. Use your modification with less, a little less hopping. Look like that. Full scissor. We're literally scissoring those legs back and forth. Awesome, up next we're gonna do a push up and then a side plank. So first round, I'm gonna show you up on a bench or with my hands elevated. Use my wood box if you want done. So I'm gonna do a push up right here and then roll to the side, reach towards the ceiling, look towards the ceiling, push up and other side. Good. Squished her tail. She, I guess, doesn't care. I'm doing this right behind her in my cap. <laughs> We've got 10 more seconds. And rest. Cool. Up next, we've got an in and out jack. So I'm going to go in, out. In with my arms, up with my arms. The jack feet stay the same. So I'm kind of going slow motion to show you. Let's try it out here. Arms in, arms up. A modification would be this right here, without the hop.
Good job. Rest, shake it off. We're going to a hollow hold variation up next. So I'm gonna look up between my feet and we're gonna go cycling those legs. My eye gaze is forward right between my knees. Let's try it. So I'm in a partial, partial crunch. My lower back is close to the ground. And I'm keeping my pelvis stable as my limbs move. We're just cycling, bicycling those legs back and forth. Good, yep, eye gaze right between the knees. Bracing the core hard. Ooh, those are tough. We're gonna stand it up one more in this bunch. We got some good old skater bounds. So I'm gonna go leaping side to side. Option, take out the leap, do a low step. Let's try it out. This is lateral agility, balance. A great cardio move at home that will get you moving in a different direction than we're normally moving in when we walk. You feel your ankle working too to support you? It is. It's good for the ankles. Five more seconds here. And rest. Awesome. All right. Time to repeat. Time to repeat. We're going to go back to our scissors plus a squat or a little shuffle pedal in place to a squat. Let's do it. Make those legs into a giant, giant pair of scissors. And reach for the ground. If you don't touch it, that's okay. Just get as close as you can. We don't want that back to be in a bad position. more seconds here. Awesome. All right, our next one is our push up to side plank. I'm going to try to be brave and do this one on the floor. So John, you can use my bench if you want. That's more your size. I'll let him use it. I'll, I'll try the floor version. So we go push up and side plank. Totally elevate those hands if you want, or you can try it out on the floor.
Awesome. We're taking down to the floor. Hollow hold. Bicycles. So I'm just going to go into a little bit of a tiny crunch. I'm going to extend those legs. Reach my arms forward and cycle those legs. Shouldn't have a lot of space under your back. All right, so your back should be close to the ground. If you need to, just take those legs higher. Pedal up here. It's a little harder to go down here. Actively 
simply use those arms, even though we're not holding on to weights, we can still turn on the muscles. Totally. So use those arm muscles. Almost there. Five seconds. Great. We're going to do my all-time favorite core exercise, the dead bug. Very unglamorous, but very good. So we're just going to have our head down, and we're going to extend opposites. If it feels easy, you're doing it wrong, because we want no space here under the back. So we have to brace really hard. So if it's a cakewalk for you, you're probably not bracing hard enough through your core. Especially as that leg extends, you gotta work real hard. Ooh, keep that back down. Great. Stand it up. All right, we got uh, one more on the circuit that I skipped the first time. <laughs> we got a double hop plus a pop squat. So it's similar to your scissor one. So two hops, two bunny hops plus a reach. I thought this circuit seemed a little short, but sure enough, I skipped one. Good. If you don't want to hop, just do a little pedal and a reach down. <coughs> the nice thing about these bunny hops is they're a safe and great way to build your bone mass. It's a little impact, but it's good impact. And rest. Awesome. All right, coming up, we are going back around our last time. We got the jack to the chair squat. Coming up in three seconds already. Oh, let's do it. Jumping jack to a chair. Option for modifying would be this. Go from the side for a second so you can see. My torso is still tall. Holy quads! And your breasts. Good. All right, up next, inchworm out to four mountain climbers. So you're just placing those hands down, inching them out, four climbers. Let's get ready and hit it. Judicious, 
judicious about it, right? Ten seconds to go. Nice and quiet hops like a ninja. Woo! And rest. So now we'll do our uh, crossover lunge. Sorry, I did that wrong. Squeeze it as you lunge, side to side. Coming up in three seconds. Let's do it. Squeeze and squeeze. Get those arms and back muscles engaged. Ten more seconds here. And rest. Okay, now we're on our last one. The dead bug. Make this challenging by bracing really, really hard. All right, I'm gonna set up. Knees over hips. Hands over shoulders. Extend. If you feel like your back lifts, keep your leg bent. Better to modify than not do it well, right? Give those knees a little hug in towards your chest. And since we're down on the floor, let's turn it over to the front and go into some child's pose. Stretch it out a little bit. So we're gonna reach forward, sit the hips back. Now walk your hands over to the right. You'll feel a stretch in your opposite side. And walk them over to the left. From here, let's take it into half kneeling. So you're gonna get a stretch here, reach up, reach over. Feel the side open, the hip open. Might feel that quad open a little bit. Switch it up to other side. Little bit of a tilt forward, tuck your pelvis under, reach up and over. after you've been sitting for a while too, but it's also good to stretch those legs after you did a lot of work. Awesome, from here let's go into kneeling. We'll go into a chest stretch. Try to clasp those hands behind if you can. Then we'll hit some tricep. I feel like the, the moon showers are my family because it was all family today. My mom was here, my brother-in-law was here, my husband was here. So the moon you might as well be my family too, moon showers. 
my Christmas present. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you. Good workout. I'm like sweaty. <laughs> that was a lot. That was like 15. Right. Have a great a day, everybody. Thanks, Grace. See ya. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Hi, Robin. Guys. We'll see ya. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for coming. You <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I'll talk to you later, Mom. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.